Hi, boys and girls. Today is Thursday, May 7th. Hope you're all doing well, getting all of your reading A to Z and water for done each day. I wrote on your Google Classroom that I want to start seeing these assignments. They're important, and so I'm going to have you start sending them to me. Now, one of the ways you can do that is with your Chromebook. You can hold the picture up and take a picture of it, and that way I can see it, and you can, sit, you can attach it to your Google Classroom assignment about main ideas or whatever our writing assignment is that day. And that way I can grade you on them as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing those from now on. If you need help doing that, just let me know. I'll help you. Have your mom call me. I'm here for you. Today we're going to continue talking about main idea. So let me share my screen with you and we're going to do another story. Now we talked about the oceans a little bit and we talked about how animals move in the ocean. Today, I thought it'd be fun to talk about another animal that lives in the ocean. Now remember, I told you that if you will look at the title of an article or a book and read the first sentence, you'll probably get a pretty good idea of what the main idea is going to be about. This one says sea otters. So right away, you can pretty much be sure that our book is going to be all about sea otters, and that's the main idea. Now, we need to be listening for key details, and you get to decide what those key details are. I'll give you some ideas, but I hope that you'll pick some of your own as well. Let's read this story together. What are sea otters? Sea otters are furry animals. They are related to weasels and river otters, but sea otters live in the ocean. They are expert swimmers. Sea otters are mammals. Their bodies are covered in fur. An adult is as big as a medium-sized dog. Sea otters breathe air. They come from the, to the water surface to breathe. And there's a little note here that says sea otters live in waters near the coast. And it says in danger. Sea otters are in danger of dying out. People need to protect them. Sea otters habitats, another key detail. Listen carefully, read along if you can. Here we go. A habitat is a place where an animal lives. Sea otters habitats are in the Northern Pacific Ocean. The water is cold. Sea otters spend most of their time in the water. A sea otter's body is built for swimming. Its back feet are webbed. Hey, we talked about webbed feet yesterday with the penguins. Sea otters also have webbed feet. This helps it swim. The nostrils, nose, close when a sea otter dives. An otter's fur is very thick. This keeps it, it warm. So these are some ways that a sea otter has adapted, right? It has a nice thick coat. Its nose closes up when it dives down in the water, and it has webbed feet to help it swim. Finding food. Sea otters feed on kelp's forest. These forests are under the water. A seaweed called kelp grows there. Prickly sea urchins eat the kelp. Sea otters eat the sea urchins. Hmm, that's a clue about what they eat. They eat sea urchins. Let's keep listening. Sea otters catch other animals to eat. They eat squid and octopus. They also eat clams and crabs. Otters catch fish to eat. Claws on their front paws grip slippery fish. So, did you figure it out? Are sea otters omnivores? carnivores or herbivores? I hope you said carnivore. If you did, you were right. Because, yep, they eat meat. Using tools. Sea otters eat mussels. They eat other shells, too. They must crack open the hard shells. Then they can eat the meat inside. Sea otters use stones as tools to crack, to crack the shells. 
A sea otter floats on its back. It places a rock on its chest. Then it bangs the muscle against the stone. It keeps hitting it until the shell breaks. Wow, a sea otter carries a stone when it dives. It stores the stone in the pouch under its arm. So we learned something about sea otters, huh? How they figured out how to use the tool. Are sea otters pretty smart? They are. Baby sea otters. Baby sea otters are called pups. They are born in the water. They cannot swim at first. The mother wraps the pup in seaweed while she hunts. This keeps the pup from floating away. So he's kind of stuck in the seaweed right there. The mother floats on her back. Her baby lies on her chest and it drinks milk from its mother's body. Sea otters in danger. Some animals are endangered. Long ago, people hunted sea otters. They used their fur for clothes. Sea otters were nearly wiped out. Sea otters are still in danger. Some get tangled in fishing nets. Many are killed by oil spills in the ocean. Orcas hunt and eat sea otters. Helping sea otters out. About a hundred years ago, there was only 2,000 sea otters left. In 1911, a law was passed. Countries agreed to stop hunting sea otters. Scientists count sea otters. They check if they are healthy. Some diseases affect sea otters. Scientists look for cures. What next? After the 1911 law, sea otters started to recover. Now there are more than 100,000 sea otters, but the numbers are falling again. People use the ocean for fishing. They drill for oil. They take part of the sea otter's habitat. If the habitat gets too small, sea otters might die out. People need to protect sea otters. In a few places, sea otters are doing well. Yeah, I saw sea otters in Alaska. They're so cute. That was so fun. It says, wow, some businesses farm shellfish. They do not want sea otters nearby. And that kind of tells you a little bit more about sea otters. Good. Okay. Let's stop sharing for a minute. There we go. Now, boys and girls, we have to start. And I'm going to use my whiteboard again. You can use the paper, just like you had before, or just get a lined piece of paper. Write your, your name at the top and the date. Don't forget to write your last name. It's important, and you're important. And then today's date would be 5 dash seven, then you can put 2020. Okay, there's the date. You put your name up here, and then the date. And then we're going to write main topic. The main topic is, of course, C-S-E-A otters, O-T-T, E R S. Good. So there's our main topic is sea otters. All right. I'm going to put my number one. You can go by your detail number one. And let's look at our screen again. And we'll go back to the beginning of our story. Okay, there it was. Okay, so first of all, we could say that a, one a, a really important topic would be how we categorize sea otters, and they are called mammals. And so this we could write that word right here. See right here, we could say sea otters are mammals. That's an important detail. So let's go ahead and write that one. Sea otters. are mammals.
that's kind of a tricky word to write. So I'll hold this up for you and you can take a look at what I wrote. Good. Sea otters are mammals. Number two. Hmm, what should we do for our second clue? Let's turn the page. There we go. Sea otters habitat. So it says that they live in the northern Pacific Ocean. That would be a good clue. I mean, a good detail, right? You could say they. Live, L-I-V-E, in, I-N, the, I'm going to put an N for northern because I'm going to run out of room. Northern Pacific, and I'm going to capitalize Pacific because it's a, a, a place, a specific place, and I'm almost going to run out of room but I don't, don't forget to write our period. Okay, so clue number two, I mean detail number two. They live in the Northern Pacific Ocean. And you can put it in like I did if you want. O-C-E-A-N, that one's hard to see. They live in the Northern Pacific Ocean. There's our detail number two right smaller here okay let's see if we can figure out our detail number three now for detail number three there's a lot left in this book so you get to choose you can tell about how sea otters are carnivores you can say how sea otters know how to use tools like rocks or you can say sea otters take care of their pups. Which one do you want to write? <laughs> I'll write one. You write one and then we'll show them to each other, huh? Make sure you send yours to me so I can see it. Are you ready to see mine? Here we go. I wrote another detail. Let's see if you can see it there. I wrote sea otters, babies are called pups. That was another detail, right? Now I could have chosen some other one and hopefully you maybe chose a different one than I did. But those are some details that help us know all about the sea otter. And so we continue to learn about how to find the main idea and supporting details. Nice job, boys and girls. Keep up the good work. I can't wait to see what you're writing down. Let me, let me see it sometime soon. And um, I guess I will see you tomorrow.